Boy, is that a strange chord progression or what? I don't think I got too many takers on this. Actually, got no answers. Nobody messed around with Sour Milk C. I know it was kind of out there. I'm gonna, I'll the next few. I'll make them easier. But the odd thing. Oh wait, let me tell you what's going on. It is Friday, May twentieth. I have sort of been um, in what is the what is the term? Um, like uh, away, AWOL, without official leave. What is the word I'm looking for? Um, incommunicado. That's it. And that's because well. As I think I told you last week, I was not—I was coughing so much that I couldn't really sit down in front of the camera and do anything without having a little hacking attack. And um, this week, just when I was, I was feeling better, by Tuesday I was ready to start shooting some lessons. I got three or four really cool lessons coming up. But the delay is my roofers showed up. We're getting a new roof here because El Nino destroyed the roof. Well, actually, never mind. But it's been really noisy around here lately. So had to had to go into shutdown mode. But... I don't want to give too much of that one away. Very cool chord progression. That's one of the things coming up. Maybe a lesson. No, I'm not going to do Sour Milk C. The story on Sour Milk C is it showed it was a song that they played that George wrote after their trip to India. And uh, they just decided it was too much like Savoy Truffle. And they never even recorded it in the studio. They just did it in the demos. But the odd thing about it. Oh, it's May 20th. Friday, May 20th. Mom, happy birthday. Tomorrow my mother will be 89 years old. So uh, I think we'll be going out to spend a little time out at a restaurant or something like that. So anyway, happy birthday, Mom. Love you. I guess I could have saved that for the end. But when I just said May 20th, it clicked to me that May 21st is a landmark day in Hogan family history. So, And uh, so is May 28th. I'll tell you about that one next week. We have a lot going on that day. Um, what was I talking about? Sour Milk Sea. I should talk about more more useful stuff, but it's just an odd song of George's that uh, they gave away to Jackie Lomax. And oh, but I didn't tell you what's so odd about it. You you maybe noticed right there. There were how many chords in that song? There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, that's still one of them. Six. Okay, is that right? I think I have a list of them. Okay, six different chords in the song all major chords very weird george did a lot of this on his beware beware of abco kind of album too some really unusual things going on in there anyway uh so no harm no foul with sour milk sea i'll come up with something a little bit better for next week uh what else has been going on i want to thank vanessa for a very cool lesson uh oh oh boy might make a good instrumental. You should plan these things. always love that song. Should have, should have thought about playing it before, but I really want to thank Vanessa for putting together a great lesson on it. That three-part harmony chills down the spine. Great job. CC and S. Thank you guys. Um, what else? Do I have? Oh, interesting lesson with Fred. I don't know if you guys have got a chance. It just went up earlier today. Fred came in having figured out a song by The Fortunes. Here comes that rainy day again. And uh, that one caught me way off guard. I'd totally forgotten about that and their other song, uh, which I'm just going to escape my mind right now. But we did get into the other one, too. So we may have a, there may be a follow-up on this a little bit more with what's going on with Fred. Um, let's see. I, have, I really only have one more thing to talk about. And then I, I might try just messing around with some songs. I had a student. I'll get back to that. I'm going to be brave oh, or dumb. Let that settle for a minute. 
webcast tomorrow. Um, Saturday, the 21st, 1 o'clock on the West Coast, 4 o'clock on the East Coast with Max. Max has put together a DVD on uh, prints and Prince guitar styles. And this is going to be a, a recurring series now for a while. So our electric guitar fans that want to know a little bit more about different artists and their styles and techniques, keep an eye out for, uh, for what's going on. We're, uh, and, you know, I'm sort of going into campfire mode for a while, and, and Max is going into electric artist mode. So um, tomorrow, live webcast to hear more about Prince Revealed. Um, now, I'm, I'm also kind of going back into my own ragtime mode and I had a student many of you, if you some of you may have seen my my uh, young student Chris who just likes working on really hard stuff well he's over like track season I hadn't seen him in the last three or four months and he showed up this week and said okay I need a new project I need to start working on something hard I said well how hard I said you ready for should we try Scott Joplin he goes oh yep so I dug this one out of the archives We skip that and I and I let me think when that part ends something like this that's it buzz anymore. It gave me a good excuse to start to think about trying to resurrect that. So we may have a little, maybe we'll have a progressive fly on the wall that goes into that arrangement, which is mostly done by a Dutch guitar player named Leo Vinkamp or something like that. I'm not quite sure of the pronunciation. I've got all these Dutch friends. They can fix it for me, Vanessa. But, and, uh, and I will, uh, but anyway, so I might, put, might have to put together a lesson on that. I, I, I um, altered his arrangement quite a bit, but that was a, one of those kicking mule records that we all got in the uh, late 70s, Stefan Grossman. Okay. I think that is it.
out something. I, I have to play at a friend's wedding next week. wanted that as the uh, recessional. I'll have to see if that's going to work. Daughter of one of my uh, longtime students and uh, Anna Beshin, if you're out there watching, I think I'll work that one out for you. If you want to start with uh, this is going to be the processional one, I think. Anyway, give me a chance to revisit the Beatles songs that I keep promising to get lessons up on that I never do. Okay, let me see if there's anything else. I had a really short list this time. That was it. Webcast, Africa, Fortunes, Sour Milk, Fred. Okay. A better um, listen up challenge for next week, I promise. And I will be back next Friday, the end of May.